you guys and what are you doing here today? So we're humpbacks and high rises and we're an organisation that's researching and surveying the humpback whales that are travelling through the Gold Coast Bay. Right. At the moment there are thousands of humpback whales, female, male, travelling up north to the subtropic waters where it's warmer and the females can give birth to their young. After a few months of the females and the young calves chilling out in the warm waters, they're going to start migrating back down south to the cooler waters. There, they will start teaching their young how to feed on krill. Oh, I just saw a spray. Yeah, right out by yeah. the by Wait, cool and gutter there. If you look at the green part of the land, right on the two pods out there, very similar location. So we have the horizontal, yep. 341, 08, 14, and that's at what time? 12.23. 12.23. So what are you guys Excellent. doing? We just took down the coordinates of where yep. the whale is. Mm -hmm. So it's out this way, and we use this um, theodolite to triangulate where it is. Right. So we have a point down here at one of those rocks mm -hmm. that we know where that rock is. We have our point and then we also have the point of the whale Got it. off in the distance. So from that we're able to tell where it is mm -hmm. and then we can keep tracking it. So in a few minutes we'll record it, see how far it's come mm -hmm. and record the time as well. So then we know how fast that whale's traveling, right. which way it's traveling, um, and then we can record yeah, how many are coming through. Wow. Female whale has a baby calf every two to three years. That calf is three to 4.5 meters long. You may be thinking, apart from their amazing features, why are they so amazing and why do we have to care for them? Unfortunately, to answer this question, I have to change the subject to something that's uh, a little unsettling, whale's poo. Although you might be thinking that whale's poo is quite gross, there are millions, in fact billions, of microorganisms, yeah. microorganisms like phytoplankton which think this stuff is delicious. Plus, it's full of nutrients and great stuff for these plants in the ocean, which by the way, produce every second breath you take. It sucks up the carbon from the, from the atmosphere and creates oxygen which we breathe. I just learned something new there. So there's two pods out there, very similar location. Yeah. Oh my god, there's so one? many. Keep telling me what they're doing. Okay, uh, yeah. black. Yeah. So this pod has been very active. There's been lots of rolling, a lot of peck slaps. Um, we're Blow. Blow. Peck slap. Mm -hmm. <sighs> um, using the theodolite, we can see their behaviors um, and kind of make like an estimate to what kind of um, um breach. Another breach. Oh, I can tell that to what gender they are based on their behaviors oh my god if it's doing this yeah, yeah. Pexlap. uh peck slap potentially um oh, some mating kind of behavior because it's a bit of showing off or maybe perhaps like some playful it's hard to tell um there's been a lot of peck slaps a lot of blows quite a few breaches as well do you need to move the blow blow okay there's Two next to each other. Blow, blow. Two yeah. next to each other. Two next to each other. And we did think there was peck three. Slap. When they say peck slap, it means that the whales actually go like this. <gasps> breach! And breach. then when they say breach, it just means that they're going up in the air, like whoa. Blow. Yeah, so that definitely was a dive before when the fluke came up. They're logging the data of how many whales they've seen. Yeah. And they're logging um, onto their iPad so they can remember what activity they're doing like peck slapping yeah. so that's what we're doing is pretty much going to a general database then we, that we can then use for different research projects yeah. so something that we have found is that the Gold Coast Bay is being used um, like as a resting area for oh, mothers and calves it. where it's typically said that that's mainly done at Harvey Bay up north in the literature they're going really slow or? yeah pretty much so they come in um, especially when they're going south with their calves they can come pretty close to the coastlines just to um, rest, be a bit more protected with their newborn baby. Got it. Wow. The ocean is extremely important for the survival of humankind, for the survival of all life on land. Without the ocean, life on land would not be able to exist. I don't know. Yeah, it's, 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 it's,
Nå skal jeg ikke se. Skal jeg ikke se en annen sted.